great movie, at least by the DVD. If you have never seen it, it's pretty compelling. And Tom Noonan is fucking brilliant. And Brian Cox is just mesmerizing. I mean, the first Hannibal Lecter. And great continuity between portrayals, but I mean, interesting. <laughs> I don't know which one scared me more. I think both. <laughs> All right. I believe we start at verse 21. Now, so see this Corey Whore guy, he's an antichrist. And uh, he's shouting a bunch of atheist shit at, in the streets at believers. He seems like he's pretty much alone in this crazy mission of his. All right. And anyway, did he left Zarahemla and ended up in Jershom and the anti-Nephi-Lehi people of Ammon tied him up and took him to Ammon. All right. Now, verse 21. And it came to pass... Oh, I love this. This is really good. Worthy of the name. That he caused that he should be carried out of the land. So Ammon's going to deport him. And he came over into the land of Gideon. This guy won't stop. He's on a mission from nobody. An atheist preacher. That's funny. And began to preach unto them also. <laughs> and here he did not have much success. For he was taken and bound again and carried before the high priest and also the chief judge over the land. 22. And it came to pass that that the high priest said unto him, Why do ye go about perverting the ways of the Lord? Why do ye teach this people that there shall be no Christ in 74 B.C.? To interrupt their rejoicings. Yeah, don't kill their buzz. I don't go around doing that. Yeah, unless they come to me. I try to be kind of gentle when I approach somebody and ask questions. I just ask questions. Maybe I fuck with them a little. But usually, if you come to me, I'll be a dick to you. But if I go to you, I'll try to be courteous and ask real questions. It's, it's a lot more fun that way. Why do ye speak against all the prophecies of the holy prophets? 23. Now, the high priest's name was Gedona. And Cory Horror said unto him, Behold, I do not teach the foolish traditions of your fathers. And because I do not teach this people to bind themselves down under the foolish ordinances and performances which are laid down by ancient priests to assert power and authority over them, to keep them in ignorance, and uh, that they may, may not lift up their heads but be brought down according to thy words. 24. Yea, uh, ye say that this people is a free people. Behold, I say they are in bondage. Ye say that these ancient prophecies are true. Behold, I say that ye do not know that they are true. 25. Ye say that this people is a guilty and fallen people. 
because of the transgression of a parent, an ancestor. Behold, I say that a child is not guilty because of its parents. 26. And ye also say that Christ that that Christ shall come, but behold, I say that ye do not know that there shall be a Christ. And ye say also that he shall be slain for the sins of the world. 27. And thus ye lead away this people after the foolish traditions of your fathers. This is Cory Hoare going on. And according to your desires, and ye keep them down, even as it were in bondage, that ye may glut yourselves with the labors of their hands, that they durst not look up with boldness, and that they durst not enjoy the, their rights and privileges. 28. Yea, they durst not make use of that which is of their own, lest they should offend their par their priests, who do yoke them according to their desires, and have brought them to believe by their traditions and their dreams and their whims and their visions and their pretended mysteries, that they should, if they uh, did not do according to their words, offend some being, who they say is God, some unknown being, who they say is God, a being who never has been seen or known, who never was, nor ever will be. That's got to go over real big back uh, <laughs> in the early Iron Age. <laughs> oh, yeah. 29. Now, when the high priest and the chief judges saw the hardness of his heart, yea, when they saw that he would revile even against God. Imagine that. It's all imagination. They would not make any reply to his words. But they caused that he should be bound. This is getting kinky. This is his third time. What's up with this book in bondage? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> you silly savage. <laughs> And they delivered him up into the hands of the officers and set him to the land, sent him to the land of Zarahemla, full circle. Very circular, this book. Very circular. Thirty. And it came to pass. that when he was brought before Alma, that's Alma Jr. This is ought to be interesting. Two birds of a feather. Alright. And it came to pass, he was brought before Alma and the chief judge, and he did, oh man, he's in fucking trouble! Even though there's no law. He did go on in the same manner as he did in the land of Gideon. Yea, he went on to blaspheme in front of Alma Jr., Mr. Lil Suddenly Holier Than Thou, after a uh, miraculous angelic visit, turned him from an enemy of the church 
to a Neo Apostle Paul. <laughs> or actually, I should say a Paleo Apostle Paul, excuse me. He's BC 74. He beat him. God, this makes the. You know what? This. All the Bible is in here. So that makes the Bible a fucking rip off of this, doesn't it? That must be it. <laughs> 31. 31. And he did rise up in great swelling words before Alma. They just stood there and took this. But they haven't been quoting him that much now. Guess his same stump speech. <laughs> See? He did revile against the priests and teachers, accusing them of leading away the people after the silly traditions of their fathers. For the sake of glutting on the labors of the people, the nerve of them, accusing Nephites of that. I mean, Nephites are right. They accuse other people's ancestors of uh, transgression. 32. Now, Alma said unto him, Thou knowest that we do not glut ourselves upon the labors of this people. For behold, I have labored even from the commencement of the reign of the judges until now with mine own hands for support notwithstanding my many travels around the land to declare the word of God unto my people. 33. And notwithstanding the many labors which I have performed in the church, I have never received so much as one senine for my labors. Neither have has any of my brethren save it were in the judgment seat, and then we have received only according to the law for our time. 34. And now, if we do not receive anything for our labors in the church, what doth it profit us to labor in the church, save it were to declare the truth? Uh, small t that we may have rejoicings in the joy of our brethren. That was wrong. 35. Then, why sayest thou that we preach unto this people to not to get gain, when thou of thyself knowest that we receive no gain? And now believest thou that we deceive this people that causes such joy in their hearts? And Corihor answered him, Yea. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, it's true because it makes him feel good. Shame on you, Corihor, you buzz killer. The truth may set you free, but what if you don't want to be free? <laughs> 37. I mean, I think his Cory Horror is kind of ballsy. Maybe he's a little nuts, but he's ballsy. I wonder what his motivation is. It's like, is he the first atheist? I don't think so. He's the first straw man. 37. And then Alma said unto him, Believest thou that there is a God? 38. And he answered, Nay. That's a good quote for atheists. <laughs> we can quote, Koi whore! <laughs> if we wanted to. <laughs> 39. And Alma said unto him, Will ye deny again that there is a God and also deny the Christ? That's two different things. <laughs> For behold, I say unto you, 
I know, hang on, hang on, that there is a God. And also that Christ shall come. You're waiting for him to arrive after he departs, and we're waiting for him to arrive eventually. Sometime. Somewhere over the rainbow. Or some, something like that. Just believe real hard. And at least it'll make you feel good. I guess. Forty. And now, what evidence have ye that there is no God, or that Christ comes not? This is good. Expect to become Mormons after this, all you atheists. Maybe you better click off right now while you're still safe. I say unto you that ye have none. You can't prove a non-existent thing. Or disprove an non-existent thing. If you can't... If it doesn't exist, I mean... <laughs> Alright, I think I'm getting a hemorrhage. <laughs> I think, uh, even though it's not time. This is uh, in order. Oh, this shit's still cold. This is a long chapter. But it's interesting. Next video, I'm going to use my new mug. I think I'll pick up a 40. Yeah. If it's a big... Nah, whatever. If it's a thirsty chapter. <sighs> 40. <laughs> I say unto you, this is the middle of 40, uh, that ye have none. You don't have any evidence to prove that what he believes in isn't true. And all he has to do is believe. You have to disprove it. Think about that. What if he believes something else? Same standard applies. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Excuse me. That's a special gold standard exclusive. Only for the faith you were born in. Or the one you happen to anchor your ship to. <laughs> 41. But, behold, I have all things as a testimony that these things are true. You tell him, Alma Jr. And then you can call that angel down like he did for you when you didn't fucking believe. And he'll be in a coma for three days, right? And he'll come out and he'll be like a prophet, almost as good as you. Right? I mean, come on, think about it. Alma Jr. was an enemy of the church in... I forgot which book, which chapter it was. <laughs> it's I've already done it, though. And it was fucking funny. <laughs> uh, I say unto you, we're still in verse 40, <laughs> that ye have none, you don't have any proof to the contrary, save it be your word only! Uh, uh, oh, ah, all right. <laughs> oh, my God, that's <laughs> that is fucking dumb. <laughs> I think it just anesthetized my brain. It was so dumb. <laughs> you only have your word that the shit I believe in ain't real. All right, let's hear Alma's evidence. This is good. Not really. <laughs> 41. But behold, I have all things as a testimony that these things are true. And ye also have all things as a testimony that they are true. And will ye deny them? Unbelievable. 
Believest thou these things are true? As I said, 42, Behold, I know that thou believest. Ah, oh, he's found him out. He's not really an atheist. Because all atheists secretly believe in God. At least that's what I keep getting told. That's what I keep hearing. Of course, I hear a lot of things. <laughs> Some of them are funny. It doesn't mean I believe them. 42. Behold, I know that thou believest. That's where I got hung up. All right. But thou art possessed with a lying spirit. Is that what it is? A lying spirit? I'll drink to that. Just because. So I'm like... Ahab. I've got a lying spirit. Remember God sicked a lying spirit on, on Ahab? It's like, hey, I don't want that guy to be saved, so. Lying spirit. You could have fixed Corey Whore. You should have understood Alma Jr., but instead the mirror cracked, didn't it? You'd move too far away from the person you used to be, you fucking hypocrite. Besides, you let all those women and children burn to death in chapter 14, you prick. But you saved your own ass with a miracle. Fuck you, Alma Jr. At least Cory Whore has some fucking balls. <laughs> Behold, I know that thou art, that thou believest... But, the, but thou art <coughs> oh maybe he's right now, with a lying spirit and ye have put off the spirit of God that it may have no place in you but the devil has power over you and he doth carry you about working devices that he may destroy the children of God well it sure didn't make sense having him walk around preaching atheism in the street. I've never heard of an atheist doing that. I would have given the person a wide berth myself. I mean, our only rule is don't be an asshole. <laughs> Except on YouTube. Sorry. No, I'm not. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, lying, uh, you did put off the Spirit of God, that it may have no place in you. But the devil has power over you, and he doth carry you about, working devices that you may destroy the children of God. 43. And now Corihor said unto Alma, If thou wilt show me a sign that I may uh, be convinced that there is a God, yea, Show unto me that he hath power, and then I will be convinced of the truth of thy words. Well, that's better than you did, Alma Jr. You basically said, fuck God, fuck the, the Church of the Nephites, I'm a fucking pagan, I worship dumb idols, now I'm a dumbass. But, angel, voice of thunder. I guess his dad called him up, you know, being high priest. Sicked him on Alma Jr., who was going astray. An enemy of the church, like of the Apostle Paul. And all of a sudden, he's in charge because an angel made him sleep for three days. So, he isn't going to be so nice to Corey Hoare, even though Corey Hoare is actually asking if he's being sarcastic, fine, but you know what? He said the magic words. He would apologize for his sarcasm. If he found out there was a god, he would go, Oh, hell yeah. Sorry about all that. Got some splaining to do, though. 
43. And now, court. Yeah, she have a fucking sign, you dickhead. Uh, yea, show me a sign, and I'll be convinced of the truth of thy words. 44. But Alma, Jr., the prodigal son, said unto him, Thou hast had signs enough. Oh, that's how it is. You're a dick. <laughs> Will ye tempt your God like I did? Like Alma Jr. did? How dare you? Will ye say, Show unto me a sign? Like an angelic visit with a voice of thunder that laid you low for three days, biatch. Show unto me a sign when ye have the testimony of all these, thy brethren. All you have to do is take the word of a bunch of other guys. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and also, all the holy prophets. The scriptures are laid before thee, yea, and all these... Oh, wait, all things to know that there is a God, yea, even the earth and all things that are upon the face of the earth, yea, and its motion, at least in your book, the earth moves. In the Bible, it sits on four pillars. <laughs> there might be a giant turtle under it. I don't know. They don't see that far. Oh, that's right, a turtle and a bunch of elephants. <laughs> Thank you, Indigato Gubita. My iron butterfly. From the Man Manhunter soundtrack, which, good luck finding, but it's worth getting. Uh, yeah. Yay, and it's motion, yay, and also all the planets, which are dead, and of no use. All the planets which move in their regular form do witness that there is a supreme creator. Really? What the fuck? It, it, it's, it's that way because it's that way. And that's the operating system over the DOS. It is... <laughs> Sorry. I gotta... Uh, it's a little early, but I... Sorry. This is a fucking long-ass chapter! I don't want to do it in three parts. God damn it. Alright. I'm gonna finish this, but I'm gonna... I'll see you in verse... 45, god damn it! We're almost done. This is a long-ass chapter! Please stay tuned. It gets better, sort of, kind of. Sort of, not really. Yeah, it's worth seeing. Honestly. I haven't even made it yet, but it's worth seeing. Because this is some funny-ass shit. You gotta see how this ends. Yeah, stay tuned.